Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the weekly preview for February 1st, 2021. We made it to February. Let's go. Uh, weekly event, Magic Mushrooms, ends in 6 days, 18 hours, 59 minutes. Magic Mushrooms, new epic troop, Fun Dangus. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Fungal Growth, experience our new world event with your guildmates. Play world event battles every day to unlock rewards. Time remaining, 6 days, 18 hours. Imp of Love, and a seasonal imp has returned. Catch him before he leaves the chests. Phoenix Stone, the campaign has started. New rewards every week, don't miss out. The campaign is ending in 27 days, 18 hours. Week of Goblins, all goblins gain 10% to their skills. Should be good for, uh, King Gob Truffle. Or, um, Ding Dong. High King Iron Gut, right? Week of Elementals. All Elementals gain 10% to their skills. Ooh, Elementals and Goblins? Bonus Gold. Use Fundingus in PvP and Explore to gain 400 gold. I'm going to say Fundingus like that every time. It's just a dingus, you know, a dingus. Alright. Soul Forge. Should be getting to the, um, the reset. Uh, the new cycle. Um, pretty soon, if we're not already. So, just keep that in mind. I'll try to... Somebody let me know in the comments, please. How close we are, or if we are, it already happened, or whatever. Not totally on top of it, but I got, like, a good feeling about it. Like, it's coming up soon. Or it just happened, recently. Uh, let's see. We have Pan. Yeah, maybe it is a new cycle, because Pan is here. Pan's a pretty dang new mythic like literally the last one we got right I mean we're getting one this Friday but didn't we get pan last time so it must be a new cycle I'm just guessing so pan Suna Queen Aurora and Stonehammer and I swear we just I just saw Stonehammer so I think it's a new cycle but uh correct me if I'm wrong you know uh, so the order here would be pretty easy. It's going to be Pan, I think. Pan. 24 yellow, green, brown, Pan's Veil, Wild Folk Beast. Deal damage to three random enemies and knock them to the back. Uh, Totem of the Veil. All Wild Folk allies gain one life and magic with matching four or more gems. Impervious and Wild Folk Bond. Pan is pretty good. It's like top 25. It's not anything you would... Um, you'd probably save your diamonds as long as... If you have the top 10 mythics, all of them, and like 11 and 12, and like, you know, maybe if you have the top 12, you could think about it, but if you don't have every single thing that I mention on the top 10 mythic uh, video, which is like 15 mythics, then I wouldn't go with Pan today. Next, I'd say is Queen Aurora. 24 yellow, green, purple, and someone's mad that I didn't say sooner. Queen Aurora, Silver Glade, Divine Beast. Give all other allies barrier and 32 life. Create 10 gems of a chosen color. Rainbow Spirit. Rainbow Link is awesome. Gain bonus mana from all... All... Gem matches. Arcane and Warded. So it's pretty fun to use extra fourth person off the bench. Kind of like TPK. Except for TPK is better. So if you don't have TPK and you have Queen Aurora. You can use Queen Aurora like a TPK. Uh, she isn't like an act. She's more of a passive than a like TPK will explode and you'll see it happening. Queen Aurora, she gains bonus mana from all gym matches, so you won't really see it happening. But it's more of a passive thing. Then I would say probably Suna. I guess I'll make Suna third, even though I don't like her. Twenty red, green, purple, bright forest, divine face. Steal thirty-five life from the two weakest enemies, then steal eight magic from two strongest enemies. I feel like you guys see somebody else talking about weird troops and then you think they're good. Just stick to old Cine Cool. If you have to stray, go go look at Loot Wizard. Maybe even Tacit. Stop there. Fairy Fire, a random enemy when matching red gems. Kimmy 500, D Rock. Those are the real champions. Um. Stonehammer, 22, blue, brown, yellow, K Zeal, Divine Dwarf. Stun and burn all enemies. Create a mix of 22 red and brown gems. Gain 31 life. Reduce damage from skulls by 80%. Unbreakable. 
That's kind of cool, but uh, he's still not that good. So like I said, the only thing to pay attention to here is Pan. And Pan is like, oh, I got all the top 12 mythics, and what do I do now? And that's when he even starts to come into the conversation, you know? Then you're talking about like TPK and and Mistralis and, and Lord of Slaughter and, and you know, there's all these, uh, who's the other one? You know, stuff like that. Pan's like under those. Uh, we gotta do legendaries. I'm trying a new controller today, by the way. Also, if we get to 40 members, I'm gonna do a six hour live stream. So, we got like 29 right now. I didn't check if it got, went up any. But, uh, join button, blue join button, link in the description. If you need help, put in the comments. I'll help you out. $2, $1.99, actually less than $2. And I'll do a six hour live stream if we get to 40. Just that just is eleven people, two dollars. That's not too far out there. Ooh, Queen Titania might be the best thing in here this week, actually. Alright, let's let's make sure we saw all the legendaries here. I'm about to get Rage Kurndara, y'all. I just need like two major blues. We have Queen Moonclaw, Queen Titania, Winter Imp, and Carnex. Queen Titania's number one, 16 red, purple, bright forest, fey, mystic. Top 10 legendary. Probably more important than Pan if you don't have it. Summer Dream. Deal damage to all enemies boosted by red enemies and allies. If there are 13 or more red gems, gain an extra turn. Summer Veil. Fairy Fire a random enemy on 4 or 5 gem matches. Fireproof and fey bond. Next would probably be Winter Imp, I think. 12 blue, primal, elemental, deal 33 true, scatter damage to all enemies, boosted by blue gems. If an enemy dies, freeze all enemies, gain 8 magic on blue gem matches. Gain blue, bonus blue mana from blue gem matches, and allied elementals gain 2 life. What does Queen Moonclaw do? I'm gonna go with Carnix. 15 red, purple, Adana mech, create 5 skulls, and explode 10 skulls, gain 52 armor. Add 25% of armor to skull damage, impervious and armored. Then Queen Moonclaw is last. So she's probably even worse than Stonehammer. 16 purple, green, wild plains, war gear, mystic, create 9 skulls, boosted by green allies and enemies, summon a random knoll. Clan hunt, give 2 attack to green allies when an ally deals skull damage. I guess you're using it with that one knoll that does triple damage maybe, but very specific. But anyway, the main thing out of here is Queen Titania, top 10 legendary, probably something you should craft. And then we have Pan it, it, as a consolation prize. Weapons. Anything in here? Dagger of Zhejin. Remove all green gems. Deal 38 damage to an enemy boosted by, green, by gems removed. If the enemy is from Zhejin, deal double damage. Doomed Breaker, deal 38 heavy splash damage to an enemy, plus 4 per tempering level, stun all green enemies, and cleanse all green allies. Explode 4 gems, if the enemy has a doom, explode 3 more. Norbert's Turnip's okay. Deal 41 damage to an enemy, boosted by goblin allies, then create a mix of 6 green and red gems for each goblin ally. Maybe get that if you don't have it, and you already have Queen Titania. Or get this and Queen Titania. Flesh Ripper, eliminate all armor from an enemy, deal 37 damage, boosted by armor eliminated. Not terrible, but there's other weapons that we will um, do a little bit better than that. So, But another one you might want to get if you don't have it. You should always get weapons if you don't have them. And that's it. I mean, Norbert's turn up. So once again, let's go just for the final Soul Forge recommendation here. Queen Titania number one. Probably Norbert's turn up number two. And then Pan number three. That'd be the overall. Okay. Let's go to the shop. It froze on me. I gotta point it out every single time. You know like when they do a typo, I point it out. When they do a skull event with no skull troops, I point it out. I gotta, I'm got. i the guy that points everything out that they do wrong. Because that's who I am. Because they don't recognize me, so... That's what they get. Spoils of War. Freezes every time. Every single time. We got around the Explore freezing. Fun dingus. Fun dingus. Dingus. 
14 red green Zajin elemental goblin explode 32 purple gems wow that's a lot then summon either a giant toadstool or an explode stool gain an extra turn I need to look at what explode stool does poison spores inflict poison when I take skull damage plague touch inflict disease when doing skull damage and immunity to disease um, I mean, sounds like a decent purple mana generator, and this PS4 wants to be awesome. Let's put it in timeout in the corner. So I can move around a lot and make my mic act up. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It, a lot of purple explosion happening there. Then you gain an extra turn. Um, I don't know. We'll see. That was the shop. What did we get? What kind of, um... Arcane Beast Trait Stones. So, green and red. Let's go check that out. What can we use those on? Green and red. Red, green, all colors, base rarity, show all. Troops like Champion of Guard, which I don't have. It's like one of the only mythics I don't have. It's terrible. Um... Well, in Rage Kurandara, I lied, but I'm close. Ketris the Bull. Raging Bull. Kurandara. I need to trade that up. Let's do it. Ready? Oh, I don't have enough. Well, I can still... Hey, look, I need green and red. That's exactly what's in the shop. So I might do that. So, hey, good example right there, right? Phonesia. Lord of Slaughter. Tina, Worldbreaker, Scourge of Honor. All right, let's get into the ones that are for sure that definitely use this trait stone that you can definitely fully trait. Isn't he do? No, he doesn't. Well, bleed and silence the first enemy when I deal skull damage. Uh, green. Oh, Yao Gui. It's not. Uh, necessary to use Yao Gui, but it's always nice to have something fully traded. Yao Gui. Anything else? Marilith? Not really. Is this one of the worst trait stones? I don't see anything. Egg Thief. Maybe this is one of the worst trait stones. Yeah, I don't really see anything. So, nothing really to say here. You can get your Egg Thief fully traded, your Yao Gui fully traded. Um, Marilith. Nothing super important, though. There's nothing that's like a uh, 50% start, or there might be some mythics here. You never know. Like, it might be the Lord of Slaughter, which is Savage Strike, which is really important. Um, but I can never tell with the mythics there. All right, chests. We have event keys, Asian troops. So let's go check that out. So now we will do is Asian, and we'll go up from the bottom because we're smart. Base rarity, show all. Okay. So we have troops such as High King Iron top three mythic in the game for destroying delves easily. Scalable content, devour. Extra turn. Can't get King Gob Truffle, unfortunately, but it's easier to get in the underworld than it is with event keys. So, you can pick up Smash Mouth if you haven't, if you didn't get it when it came out. Um, mostly, what is Explode Stool? Explode 17 gems if an enemy is diseased, poison one to four enemies. Princess Fizzbang, No Ben Brothers. If you like goblins, Shrink Fiddler, Toad Squeezer. Goblin Rocket, Hobgoblin, Boar Rider, Goblin Shaman. Nothing nothing too crazy. I mean, if you like goblins, they got extra turns. Like, you can make a goblin team out of, like, a couple of them here. But mostly you'd be going for High King Iron Gut. And with your Consolation Prize, you would get Smashed Mouth, No Ben Brothers, Princess Fizzbang, stuff like that. So... Up to you if you want to try for High King Iron Goat. I mean, it's definitely one of the best mythic mythics in the game, so I would probably try for it if I had any kind of event keys, but don't expect to get it. Expect to get maybe Smash Mouth if you're lucky. If 
you have them and you don't have High King Iron Gut, throw them, but don't expect to get them. Expect, like, Princess, Princess Fizzbang. Alright, we need to look at the events. Not doing summoning stones anymore, because I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone. And it's really not worth it. You don't want to throw... Uh, you don't want to throw your jewels when you could use those for, like, celestial trait stones and other things that are more important. And unless there's a, a troop that you just can't get for some reason, that you're just unlucky, like Leprechaun, or... Sometimes you can find them in the summoning stones, so... It, I don't know. Uh, what do we have this week? Okay, so, Tuesday, we have... Faction Assault 4, is that the Deep Hive? pretty sure. So let's go see if I have a team for that. I'm pretty sure I do because I just got done getting the pet for that. Deep Hive. Uh, King Gobtruffle. Forest Troll, King Gobtruffle, King Gobtruffle, Doomed Glaive would be my recommendation. King Gobtruffle still works even with the nerf. So use it. That's your uh, early recommendation for tomorrow's faction assault on the Deep Hive. King Gobtruffle. And, you know, you could do Rowan. Green. Whenever there's green or blue, you can do Rowan with, like, uh, Shield of Urskaya. So it's not the only thing. You can't. Not, you could use Queen Beatrix. I mean, there's uh, three options for you right there. Rowan, Queen Beatrix, King Gobtruffle. Wednesday, what do we have? The pet, Goblet. Uh, the new baby goblin pet. So make sure you get that. It's a new pet. Then Thursday, we have Thief class. Very important. Top 5 class. Uh, get your skeleton key. 250 victories. Get you a skeleton key. And it's just a good class to get to 100. So do it. And this weekend, we have what? Uh, what's this weekend? What's this weekend? New faction. New faction this weekend um, with that demon, legendary demon, and some dwarves. It's like Durandar or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, cool. New faction and a mythic is coming this Friday. So, save your keys. Save all your other keys, like me. See? 4,383, 4,731. Guild keys, 44,000. Then I have 323,000 glory if I need it. Uh, so let's go check out the world event. Fungal growth. Spell damage. Uh, goblins probably. This is probably going to be really easy. Uh, first thing though. Collect our reward so we can get some tokens. Three tokens makes a badge. Then in the shop I got to buy a little bit because I have a channel. But if you don't have a channel... Maybe don't buy anything. Maybe just buy the first one. Maybe just buy the first two. See see what you can do. See how you can squeak by without buying things. Depends, though. If there's, like, a weapon or something, sometimes I say that, and then there's, like, a... Well, usually not in the world event, but... Anyway, I got my medal. That's all I want. And overview. Goblins from the underworld were becoming a problem. A group of fungus goblins led by King Gobtruffle... Under cover of the darkness, we're invading everyone. We decided... That was a weird sentence. We decided to stop these mischievous... Mischievous... Mushroom marauders before we moved on. Burn as many goblins as possible and collect their spores to stop them multiplying. They, that was so weird. That, that, sent, that, that whole thing. Spell damage. I'm surprised they didn't do skull damage for goblins. That sounds about what they would do. Okay, I did shop. I did rewards. Okay, now it's going to tell me... What do we got here? What is our restriction? Red. Okay, so we can't do King Gop Truffle. Poopy Pants. Elemental Red. Okay. We need Spell Damage. I'm going to do Base Rarity. Amarok. And Furnace would be okay. So, so far, in Furnace... Ooh, Phoenicia. I'm going to have to do Phonesia. Definitely the Mirage Queen. You can get that down in the Underworld. Don't You know, it's a Legendary, but it's an easy one to get. It's like as easy as an Ultra Rare to get to me. Ooh, Sunbird. People are going to use Sunbird for sure. I got to look at everything. 
You know, people can just fire off like three firebombs and. You know. It's just one enemy, though. That's not good. The Mirage Queen's gonna start elementals with half mana, right? So let's find some elementals. Alright, they're all elementals, so they're all gonna start with half mana. I kinda wanna use Phoenicia. I know that's kinda bougie. But it's our uh, Monday team, so don't hold it against me. It's, my, or it's, it's our Monday team. Now I need something that's gonna make... Like, explode. Who's gonna explode for us? Firebomb? Yes. Oh, baby. Watch this. Man, I should do two firebombs, but I can't, because I want to use my hero. Um, What can we do here? I don't like base rarity when I do this. I want to look at all the weapons. I don't like... Well, do you guys... What do you think about that? Looking at the weapons in base rarity order? I hate that for some reason. Because we got Cobaltine Wand. What's the restriction? Just red? Oh, I bet you it doesn't have red on it, because... I just want something that explodes. Big chop like I'm Bruce Lee. Bye-bye. Here we go. Fist of Heaven. Glaive of Many Goats. I don't know. I'm probably not, I'm probably not gonna be Mr. Weapon right now. We'll figure it out, though. Prismatic Orb. I don't want to take forever. Summer's Fury. Alright, I don't know. This is the first thing I thought. Even though we don't... Elemental Strix. We don't have any Divines on our team, really. But it's a Summon. And an Explode. Can we just look up Explode? I want to see. Hold on. Explode. Because if there's something else, then I'm, I'm going to feel like a dummy. Alright, hold on, hold on. Jack-o'-lantern, Minnow's Cleaver. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just do Fist of Heaven. What else does it got? Stun the first enemy, barrier myself. Maybe we... Well, we can't put it first because we want to use it as a summoner. Firebomb's gonna blow up. Then we can summon something into its spot. Ooh. Yeah, let's just do that. Screw it. I don't want to be all day about this. We got team video tomorrow where we can refine. Oh, uh, red and green would be wonderful. Ooh, labyrinth. Always use the maze banner whenever you can. Whenever you can. And then I will go with a sun spear. Sun spear. Alright, so Sun Spear, Labyrinth Banner, Phoenicia, Firebomb, Cynical, <laughs> Fist of Heaven, the Mirage Queen. To battle. Okay. And we'll put on the Mushroom Metal. Um, we don't need Metal of Anu. I'm gonna do two Nishas and a Mushroom Metal. And we'll go to battle, and we're almost done. Hopefully this new controller is working better. Phoenicia! So if you have Phoenicia, this is going to be super easy. If you don't, use Sunbird. So there you go. Somebody said, um, do make an, uh, give the lower level people a team. Well, use Sunbird with firebombs. You'll be fine. Do this instead of Phoenicia, put Sunbird up there, and you'll be fine. Same exact team. But put Sunbird up top. You'll probably get up just as fast. Which I'm getting up right away. I'm not even having to do anything else. Uh, I don't know, Explode Stool. Let's get to the boss, like a mythic. And then we'll uh, go do the campaign. We'll, like, read it, and then we'll be out of here. Alright, so it didn't, but hey, we got... That's what Firebomb's for, and then bang. Pretty easy. King Gob Truffle. But yeah, my thoughts are um, Firebomb, Sunbird, Phoenicia, 
go. And Mirage Queen. I don't know about the weapon here. This is the, always the thing. Like, you could search and dig and scrape the bottom of the barrel for a different weapon. And the class. Seems like Sunspear is going to work pretty good. Everybody's red. Sunspear gives you a, a firestorm at the start of every single turn. Um, so, Sunspear, Diabolist, Slayer, Dragon Guard. Those are all the red storm classes, but Sunspear is the best. So... If you have one of those other ones to 100 and you don't have Sunspear to 100, you're probably doing it wrong, but um, you could use it for now. Like, let's say you have um, Diabolus to 100 for some reason instead of Sunspear. Then use Diabolus. But it could be your chance to get Sunspear to 100 by using it uh, for this. Come on, just get me to the boss. Will this continue to work on Sunday when you, uh, when your guild is, needs you to get a bunch of points to finish it up? I don't know, but, uh, it's working right now. And Phoenicia, I use every single day. I know it's a good troop, so it should continue to work. And we gotta summon if not. If she dies somehow, we could summon something into Firebomb slot and then Phoenicia slot. Because look at that, we got a summon. And everything, the, the most everything's taking right now is two turns. Firebomb, Phonesia, Firebomb, Phonesia, Firebomb, Phonesia. I was almost going to put two firebombs and leave off the hero, but I want that hero experience. I'm probably going to change to a different class, to be honest. Uh, like, um... Diabolist because I need I'm like on level 90 with Diabolist and I want to just level something up is it ever gonna get me to the boss here I'm gonna try like not that many more battles maybe if I don't see something like a legendary in this next battle I'm probably gonna stop here for now firebomb Phonesia so we still have to c talk about the campaign and I really want to get this video out yeah whatever Anyway, that's what I would do. And, um, yeah. Let's talk about the campaign. The rainbow was ours. Now we needed to reach the volcano at the center of the Broken Spire to somehow capture its heat. However, we'd heard disturbing reports of goblin activity in Zhejin. Oh, really? You mean goblins live in Zhejin? The troublesome little creatures were running amok in the dark. We resolved to stop in to help while on our way south. Isn't that where they live? Isn't that where they're supposed to be? Banner bearer. Win any battle using the goblin banner except training. I'd probably just put that on for the world event. Green recruits. Craft green summoning stones in the soul forge. That's easy. Locksmith. Open gold chest. That's easy. 50 though. Hopefully you saved 50 gold keys. Or else you're going to have to use your gold. Or uh, just take your um, guild tasks. Just wait till your guild tasks are all ready to go. Uh, rewards this week, uh, crap, 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 and what do we get? Extra attack, so that's not terrible, but a lot of crap this week, like, what's the best thing you get, a portrait? yippity doo da day. Alright, so, a couple easy ones here, and then this banner bearer, just do that, just equip it while you do something else. But remember, don't do your dungeon or adventure board until you complete this whole thing, because it might be number 10 on the freaking bronze task, and then you already did it, and you can't do it. When you could have got done today, but you already did your adventure board, because you didn't think it would be number 10 on the bronze task, but it is. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Um, 40 members equals 6 hour live stream. $1.99. Dollar $1.99. 99 we're on 29 need to get to 40 i was thinking about maybe counting if a current member goes up a tier but that's gonna be hard to count because it'll still say the same number but if i keep track of it maybe we could do that i don't know let me know what you think about that but i was thinking 40 it's easy to see if it says 40 then i do it um if i count the current members going up a tier then i have to like keep track of that then we might like lose a member and then another member might go up a tier and then we might lose two members and then I'm losing track because I can't just look at a one number. I don't know. But yeah, if we get to 40 members, six hour live stream, longest live stream I've ever done, 
tell your goat about the channel, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a good week. Peace.